Welcome to Rhodes, Greece. This place is beautiful. Today, our journey unfolds to a tale of two worlds, the sun-soaked bliss of Santa Marina Beach Club and the timeless wonders within the walled city of Rhodes. Oh, we've got a pretty dolphin statue here. Wow, the water is really clear. Come with us as we float on top of the water. Enjoy one of the most magnificent lunches of our entire life. We're also going to try to get lost inside the magnificent walls of this ancient city. Stopped and got some cheese pie. And a little dry, probably at the end of the day. We're also going to revel at the unexpected hidden gems that this trip has given us. And we're also going to join a dance competition with the locals. All while soaking in the sun. And we also end our day walking in the most magnificent castle we've ever seen. After an exhilarating 48 hours in Athens, where the echoes of ancient gods seem to linger in the air, our journey continues to the captivating island of Rhodes, or as the locals call it, Rhodos. This island is renowned for its rich history, medieval architecture, and sun-drenched beaches. Located on the coast of Turkey, Rhodes is stand a crossroads of cultures inviting travelers to explore its ancient wonders and bask in its Mediterranean charm. And don't let this far off island fool you because there are treasures at every corner. We are now heading to the Santa Marina Beach Club. We're gonna find a taxi and head about 10 minutes down the coast, southeast coast. So you can see here, you got the uh, wall of the old city this was a medieval city. Still in pretty good shape, to be honest. Looks pretty good. All right, we spotted our first cat. Kitty cat. Oh, wow. Two gatos. Calimera kitty. Wow, you go in here. Is that just a parking lot? Wow. Look at this. So cool. I gotta take a picture of that. Oh, we've got a pretty dolphin statue here. Wow, the water is really clear. Spirit animal. Heading to taxi pickup, but there's some really nice yachts right there. They look pretty nice. And just chill out and wake up outside of a gated city. We're here at our first stop. We are at Santa Maria Roads. Marina. Santa Marina Roads. And uh, this is a beach club, beach bar, and also a surprise. The entranceway has got some cactus. These like look like uh, Arizona cactus. So you... Oh wow, look at this. It's so cool. All right, we're going into a tunnel. Wow. All right, beautiful staircase down. Wow, beautiful, beautiful place. The first one's here. Okay, made it to Santa Marina Beach and beach bar and we're here we got some floating beds very cool this is like something out of a dream to be be here very cool the sand is very like smooth and it's not no rocks or anything and the water is crystal clear
Okay, they have a restaurant and a bar and a wine cabinet. And it's super shady. You have a nice thick cover of the trees. And the bar is here. Looks great. A nice little seating area. And then the fun happens here. You have espresso and you have a full bar, different cocktails and beers. They also have a nice wine cooler here. And a beautiful kitchen. Huge kitchen on, on stage kitchen. It looks really cool. And it's still early, so it's not too busy yet. But uh, a nice, nice design. Looks good. Hi. This place is great. Coconuts and pumpkins. That's not something that you see every single day. <laughs> and cactus. Okay, our beer is here, and they brought us some grapes to chew on. And Amy got an Aperol spritz, I think. And they brought some water and glasses. So Santa Marina is about 15 minutes from the city center of Rhodes Old Town. You can get a taxi in the port, or you could walk just a couple of feet, like we did, and get a more normal rate. The taxis right outside the cruise ship were like, I don't know, $30, $30, and they like to book ground trips. But then we walked about maybe 200 feet, sat down, there was a Mercedes cab, got inside and we got here for 12 euro. Not too bad. Now sitting here with my Alpha, living the dream in Rhodes, Greece. Rhodos, Rhodos, Greece. Mm. Doesn't get much better than this. Maybe it does get better. We'll see. Many places to go. So, uh, Athens was super busy and we walked so much in the days that we were in Athens that this is just the definition of relaxing. It's kind of exactly what we're looking for here. After a hectic travel, two days traveling, and, uh, Running around a hot city. It was like 95 degrees. Now we're just gonna chill and enjoy it. This water is so clear. It's like a dream. Like a dream. We're going to the rocks. I don't know, maybe they have barnacles on them. There you go. God, I just went out to this rock here and it, it is a little slippery so I'm gonna take my time getting on there but look at this view you have amazing Greek rocks and a freaking old to, old school fishing vessel just sitting over there waiting to go out and catch some fish <laughs> this is like the most picturesque Greek vista I've ever seen. This is perfect, right from the movies. Cue the Mamma Mia soundtrack. Mamma Mia, now I really know. My, my, I should not have let you go. Wow. Like, look at this background. It doesn't get much better than this. Hello from Greece. So this is what the view looks like from out in the water, looking back towards the beach. So it was about 100 euro for the bed being right on the water. And you can get the other beds for much less, but 
when you're coming to this location, I think you need to splurge on the waterbed. This water is so calm. It's like glass. Can you hear the piano, soft piano music playing in the background? And everybody's just enjoying themselves. All right, time to go back. I need another beverage. Let's see if I hurt myself here. Ah, we're good. We're good. Let's see if we swim back here. Bye bye, rock. You know what? I wanted to get a picture. Amidst the allure of exploration, let's not forget the true essence of vacation. It's taking a step back, savoring the quiet moments, and allowing the destination's charm to unfold naturally, unburdened by the rush to check off every item on your list. The art of travel, sometimes the most profound memories are created in the pauses between adventures where time slows and your soul finds serenity. I'm coming. Oh, nice. No? Should I go on the dock? Yeah, like it was out on that point. Huh. Okay, drink number two came and this is a Porn Star Martini. Must be a local drink. It has vanilla, passion fruit, and I think vodka. It's friggin' delicious is what it is. Alright, so things are heating up here. Music has changed and we got some dance, some techno. Techno on the beach. And this might be the greatest entrance for food delivered to me in my entire life. Eat your heart out, Uber Eats and DoorDash. Notice the beautiful heart-shaped bamboo raft. So nice. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. The sushi you can put right here. And spicy tekayurumai. I've got it All right, foods arrived. We have chicken bao buns. We have a golden tile fish, sushi, and another bao bun, and then that is a falafel. Pretty neat, it's served on newspaper. Well, we're gonna enjoy this food, and uh, life is good. Okay. Sushi, and going down. Mmm, so good. Bow button, going down. It's gonna be messy. Oh wow, it's all over my face. Yeah, in a moment. That's so good. Mmm. I need a napkin. Awful. We ordered too much food, and now we're paying for it. Mmm. All right, starting to get busy. I'm gonna walk down to the dock and check it out. The sand is pretty hot, so I'm gonna stay in the water and walk down to this dock down here. This place is really happening now. Pumping. Very cool. Let's see. Let's 
see a good view of the beach bar from here. Cappuccino. Give us a little uh, energy for the rest of the day. Almost time for the party. We got these things here. I don't know what they're for, but we're gonna find out. I think we just twirl them around like a helicopter. All right, this part of the day, they've started to draw everybody towards the center of the beach club, and they gave us these towels to go and twirl around. So um, let's head over there and check it out. All I really have to say about the Santa Marina Beach Club, if you're in Rhodes for a week, for a day, you have to come here. It really was an amazing day, and I, I put it on top probably best days I've ever had. Cost money, but it's worth it. After a fun and exhilarating day at the Santa Marina Beach Club, we gathered our things and bid farewell to the crew at Santa Marina Beach Club. We are forever grateful to spend the day there. Thank you so much. We now headed to the city of Rhodes, where we meander through the different labyrinthine corridors. All right, we're all done with the beach, and now we're gonna explore Rodos, Old Town Rodos. Nice little fountain over here. Trickling some water. Lots of restaurants. And we go. That looks cool. Up there. I'm gonna go up this road here. Oh, look at the lizards. Those are cool. Oh, Mateo. I smell lemon and fish. Wandering through so the cool. ancient streets of Rhodestown is like stepping into a living tapestry that is woven with the threads of history. Cobblestone paths wind through the maze of medieval architecture, inviting exploration at every turn. Each stroll unfails a new chapter. Very From pretty. the vibrant markets, the walls echoing are still with local banter, shape. to hidden courtyards where time seems to stand still, making every step in roads a journey for the ages. We found some kitties. Look how beautiful this cat's eyes yeah. are. They are so emerald. Oh, you have such pretty eyes. We stopped a moment so and pretty. we gave them some water, water in the lid of our water, water bottle. Because they were so cute, we wanted to make sure that they had water. enough water in this hot sun. In there for them when they drink it. Oh, oh don't hey, hurt. Hey, 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 we gotta be nice. Be nice. Pretty eyes. Hi. 
You should get water. Okay. How long do you think it took to lay these stones? Aim. Like, do you think the hand did it or? A day. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. They're done. Okay, we're going to check out the castle. Wow, this is just so cool. Those little alleyways like that. <laughs> this area here where everybody's congregating is called Hippocrates Square. We're heading to the castle. We got a gelateria there. I don't know who they are, but famous, famous people. And I'll get myself in the shot because I don't know who they are. But uh, do you know who they are? No idea. Must be famous. I don't know. Maybe nobody. <laughs> Maybe it's like a TV show or something. Oh. So filming. I'm not sure. He's got a GoPro. Dudes and dudes on set. We also bumped into a film crew right. that was filming a reality show. I think he was a sports star. If you know him, comment uh, below. On a golf cart. Going by. Oh, look at the Trojan masks. Wow. That's cool. This is a medieval city, probably built by the Romans, and it just looks very medieval. Oh, look at that. With the um, light lantern. Wow. It's actually not too crowded here either. It's almost quiet. Nice, beautiful shops. What's this? Amy! Crazy alleyways at every turn. So there's lots of shops and restaurants here. Um, but uh, I don't know, make sure we're on the same way. A lot of cameras. Let's see, maybe it's for. Greek TV? We go up here to the right. Yeah, maybe it's for Greek TV. Uh, Dudes and Dudes is here with them, live on the scene. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got some ooze over here. I think we made it to the castle. Let's go check it out. Oh, I see a suit of armor. So this is the palace of the Grand Master of the Knights of Rhodes, often re referred to as the Palace of the Grand Master. This is a historical medieval castle in the heart of Rhodes. One of the most prominent and well-preserved medieval castles in Europe as it stands as a testament to the rich history of the island. Built in the 14th century by Knights of Rhodos. The purpose of the palace was to serve as the residence of the Grand Master of the Order. Gothic architecture. Let's go see. We now journey to the heart of history, the walled city of Rhodes. Behold the imposing walls that have stood the test of time, guarding secrets and stories from centuries past. And we were quite surprised. We didn't expect to see such a characteristic city. Rhodes Castle, known as the Palace of the Grand Master of the Knights of Rhodes, stands as a formidable symbol of medieval grandeur on this island. Constructed in the 14th century by the Knights of St. John, its opposing walls and defensive towers bear witness to the centuries of history. The castle's architectural splendor reflects a harmonious blend of Gothic and Middle Eastern influences creating a visual masterpiece atop an ancient city. 
With its walls lies Great Hall, adorned with intricate frescoes and chapels like the Byzantine Chapel, featuring stunning mosaics. Let's go take a look. This castle is unforgettable. So this looks like something right out of Game of Thrones. And, uh, Jesus, don't fall off the side. I also want to add that this is part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site of the medieval city of Rhodes. All marble, too. Explore. Yep, green markers on the ground. So the primary purpose of this castle was to serve as the residence of the Grand Master of the Order, right? But it also governed the island and its territories. Additionally, castle functioned as a military stronghold, playing a crucial role in the defense of roads against external threats during the medieval period. But man, this place is extravagant. So beautiful. There's a unique joy in wandering through the unknown, in allowing the day to unfold like the pages of a captivating novel. As we meander through the hidden alleyways, traverse ancient landscapes, and immerse ourselves in the heartbeat of a new destination, we not only witness the beauty that is around us, but we become part of it. It's a symphony of sights, sounds, and scents that weaves us into the very fabric of our memories, leaving us with profound sense of connection to a world and a feeling that, for today at least, we're truly alive. But let's savor the magic of today, embracing the thrill of discovery and the joy of exploration. Okay, so these hand laid tiles are just freaking spectacular. Look at this. Wow, this is well preserved. Nice breeze. Nice breeze from the outside. Look at that ceiling. Goodness. This is amazing. Look at the ceiling. You think that's a second floor up there? This is so nice. This is like a living room, right? With the chairs and yeah. the fireplace. Yeah. I think I would sit here in the evening. They got some sherbs up there. Of course, the lamps are not old. Go ahead, because you're going to be in the show. Oh, sorry. Oh, look at the hearts. The hearts on the floor are really cool, too. Wow. Just somebody putting that together. 
I think I found a sitting room. I don't know if this is a, a lunch place or breakfast. But uh, look at that ceiling. Every ceiling in here is just spectacular. They got some electrical outlets. <laughs> So pretty. It's just beautiful. It's like this place is just uttering everything is beautiful. Those little windows up top, which are like four feet thick. <laughs> so nice. Oh, well, look at this hallway. This is straight out of Game of Thrones. Bedroom. For the guests and uh, looks like they wanted to treat their guests very nicely guest sitting room so big as we walked around the medieval castle we were in awe with all the different types of rooms you had great halls and chapels and bedrooms and studies administrative chambers an armory sitting rooms guest quarters hidden alcoves and courtyards Wow, look at this square. Wow. Alright, we're here in the castle courtyard. They have a bunch of Roman statues. And uh, this place is gigantic. The Greek flag up above. And, uh, yeah, this is straight out of a fairy tale, for sure. Lovely, lovely castle. So glad we came and did this. It's very, very impressive. Look at the shield and the crown. Wow, exquisite. And look at these buttresses. So, ready, Aim? Very nice. Wow. As we leave the palace of the Grand Master behind, bathed in warm hues of twilight, we bid our good fortune to the ancient stronghold that guarded the centuries' tales. Exiting the gates, the day gently folds into the embrace of the evening, and the journey through Rhodes Town concludes. The echoes of history linger in the air as we step away, grateful for the day's discoveries and anticipating the next chapter. We make one last stop at a local bakery that catches our eye in the city of Rhodes. And Amy, she got the chocolate cake. Come on. Oh, they got more stuff up here. I stopped and got some cheese pie. I'm a little dry, probably at the end of the day, so. But, a little snack. Nice boats. Those things are nice, huh? Stay tuned for the end of the video. We're going to have a sailway party so cool. and watch an amazing Rhodos yeah, sunset. That was our day in Rhodos. Spectacular day on the beach. Uh, the castle was the best part of the day. I think it was unexpected to be so amazing. We're heading back. That's our quick trip to Rhodes. And uh, definitely would come back here. Lots to see. I mean, we barely even cracked the surface. 
but we had a great time. Wandered some streets of old medieval town and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Highly recommend Rhodes. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that button as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye dudes. Smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause